Hello, um, this is Time and Eckberts working and I'm going to show you guys how we coach pull-ups. This is Nasinda Pop, she is a swimmer um, and she has a very strong core and a good technique on showing this. The first thing we're going to go through is the initial technique that is needed in the shoulder shrug. Nasinda, would you like to step on? She's hanging from the pull-up bar, her core is engaged, her legs are straight. Well, I will go to the side view for this. Can you perform 10 shoulder shrugs, please? As you see, the power originates in her shoulder, her hips are straight, her body line is straight. Thank you very much. Okay, we will continue with part two of our progression. Part two of our progression is called a negative pull-up. In this, you try to jump on the pull-up bar and maintain a good posture hang as long as you can while you go down. Nasinda, can you step up, please? Go for it. She jumps up, stabilizes from the core, and lowers down slowly. Let's do one more from side view. Jump up, stabilize from the core, and lower down slowly. Okay, once we have established a negative pull-up with a nice strong core, where we minimize our swinging, we can transition to the next step, the actual pull-up. For the actual pull-up, you start in a shoulder shrug position, but you move yourself up and down. Look how my core maintains a straight position from the hips the entire time. And we are finally at the last part of our progression. This is what I have called the Bulo Core Set. It is very specific to water polo and swimming athletes because most of the power is generated from the core and the hip area. Okay, it is consistent out of eight pull-ups and eight core exercises in one. I will start and I will show you where the trouble areas are. They are mostly in minimizing your swing and maintaining your balance. We start with the pull-up. Then we bring our knees to our elbows. Pull-up. Cross knees to elbows. Opposite cross knees to elbows. Pull up. Knees to elbows. 